Up for auction today is a Hickok TV3BU military tube tester. Um, completely gone through the unit, uh, cleaned and polished the front panel, recapped, uh, as well as replaced a faulty resistor, uh, namely R145, which is the voltage divider for bias and screen voltage. Recalibrated the unit as per the uh, military manual. Um, all voltages are within spec. Um, and the tube tester is fully functional, uh, ready to uh, ready to be used. Uh, first thing that uh, I'll show, I'm set up here for uh, testing a 6L6, a known good 6L6. Um, so I'll uh, pause here and zoom in on the meter, and we'll do a line test and test the 6L6. All right, so we're set up, uh, ready to test a 6L6. Micro scale set to D, which is 15,000, which will be the third scale here. Um, so this tick mark being 5,000, this tick mark being 2,500. Uh, minimum for this tube would be 3,150. So right in this range being minimum. And you will see here that we get about a 3,500 reading. Should read somewhere in this neighborhood. Um, first we'll do a line test. Make sure our line test reads. And we're right on. So now we press P3 for the Micromos or GM test. And you can see again, this being 2500, each one of these ticks are, are 250. So that would be our 3000 mark and 3500. So we test good on that too. Next what I'll do is I'll set up, I have a known bad 6L6. And I'll test that as well, just to show that it uh, you know, will test. Uh, so now we have a uh, known weak, uh, it's actually not bad, 6L62. Um, same control settings, and I apologize on the, the previous test. Um, I did not show the shorts test. Um, I did perform the shorts test, but I didn't show it. So I'll pan out just a little bit. Oops. And I will show the, uh, the shorts test on this particular unit. Um, so shorts test, and you'll notice the neon light does flicker. This tube does not have shorts. Um, there's only weak but you'll at least see the neon light flicker to show that it is functional um, but we don't have any shorts. And back through. All right, And then we'll go back to our scale D and I'll zoom back in on the meter and we'll perform a line test and a tube test again. So the line test Okay, good on the line test. Now again, the tube should be testing somewhere in this neighborhood, uh, 3500 or above. Actually, 3150 would be in this neighborhood. Uh, but you will see that this tube is weak. We are at approximately 1500, maybe 1750 micromoles. Um, and again, using my uh, both my triplet 30. 423 and my TV7DU um, have determined that this tube is weak. So again, just to show that uh, it is accurate and testing good tubes good, bad tubes I just bad. wanted to show at least one more socket uh, set up to test a 50EH5, which is the 7-pin uh, mini socket. Um, controls are set to JR27630. Um, bias is at 11 shunt at zero. Um, again we'll go through the shorts. See the light flicker but no shorts. And we want to be on the D scale. And again I'll pause here and zoom in on the meter, do a line test. And we'll okay, test so we're all set up. Uh, first thing we'll do is a line test. Okay, and again we are on the 15,000 micromo scale, so this being 5,000, 4,500 would be here. That is the minimum for uh, 50 EH5 for being good. I'll press the P3, neutral conductance test, and we see that, again, this being 5,000, 55, 6, 
65, 7, so 7, 7, 7,750, uh, approximately micromoles, good tube test. Okay, so again, just to show different functionality, I uh, wanted to test a 6K7G, uh, GT, sorry, which will use the uh, grid uh, for the top of the tube there. Um, have made up, uh, when I got the tester, it did not have a cap and, uh, I'm sorry, a grid or plate uh, leads, so uh, all military grade uh, rubber coated 18 gauge wire, um, new ends, new foam pins, and we are set up at uh, JR03475. Um, we'll be testing on the 3000 uh, micromo scale. Uh, I'll get things set up and we'll go through a shorts test. All right, so again, test here we are set up for a 6K7 GT. Uh, you can see that the uh, excuse me grid lead, grid lead is on the tube. Um, we will go through we'll go through the shorts. So it's good for shorts. Uh, we set up on the B scale, the micro scale, or the 3000. And I'll zoom in on the meter and do a line test, and then we'll test the tube. All right, so again, we're on the <clears throat> 3000 or the B scale. Um, so that being a thousand uh, for this tube, a 910 is the minimum. Uh, so first we do a line test. Just check that. Okay, and then do the mutual conductance test, pressing P3. And we see we're 11, 1125, somewhere in that nature. So again, uh, good tube, a little bit weak, uh, but uh, I'm sure it would uh, play an old radio. So I've shown the uh, tube tester portion of the, the tester. Um, this particular tester also is a, uh, what's today called a multimeter, um, tests ohms, AC and DC volts, uh, microfarads or capacitance, and mills. Um, and I uh, just wanted to uh, show those tests along with, uh, uh, again, made two spec um, according to the manual using military grade 18 uh, gauge rubber coated wire along with military grade probes, uh, new probes for the uh, tester. And I'll kind of set it up and show you the case. Okay, so first thing I'll show, I uh, have a uh, just regular 1.5 volt battery. Um, now showing my digital meter um, just to show you the uh, accuracy. Uh, this is, although it's not a fluke, it's a brand new meter calibrated. So you can see uh, 1.6 volts. Um, now pan over to the tube tester meter and actually show you that we're on the 5 volt scale there. So we're reading the volts and mills scale and this being the bottom being the 5 volt scale so we should end up right in this neighborhood um, there we have our uh, again approximate 1.6 this is probably reading more along the lines of 1.8 DC volts. Okay, so now I have my Variac set up, uh, putting out 25 volts. As you can see, I'll zoom in on this meter, give it a clear, and 25, say 25 and a half volts. Now we'll move over to the tube tester, and I, oh and you can see that we are on the 50 volt scale so 25 volts being approximately in the middle of the scale there on the volts and mills and now using that meter 
you see that we're at 27.5 and on short capacitance uh, have a focus a 1 microfarad 600 volt DC cap um, so again looking at the digital meter see that this cap reads 0.991 microfarads so within tolerance of the 10% uh, on the cap and using the TV3BU uh, we can see that we are on the 2 microfarad that's the red scale there um, scale and zoom in a little bit on the meter so reading the bottom red uh, scale we should be somewhere in that 1 microfarad and we can see that we're at you know, again 0.8, 0 0.9 uh, just like and the last test uh, we have a get it in the shot it's probably not going to focus on it um, but single 3.5k resistor uh, you can see using the digital multimeter 3.221k ohms and then if we move to uh, the TV3 um, again we can see that we are on the ohms on the 3000 uh, scale and that 3000 according to the manual is the middle of the scale so the 3.5k or 3.2k in this case should come in close to the middle of that scale um, with the ohms uh, for resistance check we adjust the line voltage till we get infinity and it's tough to see with the angle of the camera uh, but directly over the meter it is reading infinity uh, touching the two probes together we can see that it goes to zero and then uh, again 3000 ohms in the middle of the scale this is a 3.2 uh, 3k ohm resistor you can see that we are in that neighborhood of three ohms actually I've got my thumbs you can see on the resistor to hold it so I'm getting a little bit of resistance for my body uh, but you can see that okay so I've shown all the uh, testing functionality just wanted to uh, go over the tester real quick um, but you can see all the bias shunt um, selector uh, all the different controls very easily move through set that back to tube test uh, scales for the meter everything is is functional um, even the oops, you can see that uh, the TV3BU has a a feature I guess you would call it this plate when the lid is closed will click this button uh, which will shut power off which I'll show here um, again it is a TV3 BU tube tester serial number 284 um, the one thing that is uh, not 100 percent on it or not as it should be in my opinion uh, the scroll does scroll um, but it does have uh, points in it where it kind of sticks and you have to uh, I guess it's good it's not going to do it now but uh, sometimes it'll stick a little bit and you have to back it up and, and move it forward again um, also one of the show uh, does have the condensed instructions in the lid um, I'll just close it up here for a second actually I'll flip it off have repainted the case uh, what you'll get with this auction again it is the tube tester two new grid and plate leads as well as the two spec again 48 inch test leads for the meter part thank you